Days after the shocking announcement of Chadwick Boseman's death, friends, co-stars and fans are still reeling from the unexpected news. Now more details have been revealed as those who thought they knew the actor have come to understand they had no idea what he endured. CTV's Andrea Case joins us now with that story. Andrea. Nathan, the Twitter post announcing Chadwick Boseman's death from colon cancer by his family on Friday has now become the most liked tweet ever with over 7 million likes and counting a public tribute to a very private man. Four years ago when Chadwick Boseman was filming this iconic role, no one involved knew he had been diagnosed with colon cancer. He underwent chemotherapy and surgery while he was on the set of the biopic Marshall and Netflix The Five Bloods. The cancer was now at stage four. During filming of the Vietnam War film, co-star Clark Peters told his wife on set that Bozeman arrived with an entourage who administered massages to his feet and back between takes. At the time, he called the actor precious and a diva. Today, he realizes the treatment was because of this illness. Oscar winner Spike Lee directed the film and not even he knew of the cancer diagnosis, calling him a trooper who never complained in spite of shooting in 100 plus degree heat on the set in Thailand. My son's childhood has been defined by Barack Obama and now Black Panther. Knowing the impact of the role of Black Panther on children's lives, they held a special place in his heart. Hey. That's way too much praise. <laughs> this past weekend, some children mourned the death of the man who portrayed their favorite superhero. A moment of silence was held at his beloved alma mater, Howard University. He was also a graduate of the British Academy of Dramatic Acting, thanks to a scholarship from Oscar winner Denzel Washington. Imagine receiving a letter that your tuition for that summer was paid for and that your benefactor was none other than the dopest actor on the planet. <laughs> He had the opportunity to thank him last year at the AFI Lifetime Achievement Awards ceremony. There is no Black Panther without Denzel Washington. Bozeman married his girlfriend of five years just months ago. He died on Friday surrounded by his wife and family. He was 43. As for the future of the Black Panther film franchise, Marvel had previously announced the sequel would be released in May of 2022. The plot has yet to be revealed and comic books have re re revealed plot lines and producers have discussed their own ideas, but understandably, following the tragic death of its titular star, it is too early to discuss what will be seen on the big screen. I'm Andrea Case reporting live to Ryder. Tributes are still pouring in to the star of the movie Black Panther, Chadwick Boseman, who died of cancer on Friday. Among those sharing thoughts, a basketball legend and the actor's old high school basketball coach. It actually felt like we finally had our black superhero, and nobody can touch us. When you saw him, when he, he, he could light up a room, and it was a Hollywood smile. Despite his global star power, Bozeman led a quiet, private life, never publicly revealing his illness. Friar Stewart takes a closer look at the artist, the man, and the role model. When Chadwick Boseman took on the role of the Black Panther, he had already played American icons like Jackie Robinson and James Brown. But as King T'Challa, he became a blockbuster superhero who recognized the importance of the role and his growing platform. I think there's a thirst for these images. So there's a thirst for a black superhero. Bozeman grew up in Anderson, South Carolina, where today flags fly above the legislature at half-mast. He graduated from Howard University in Washington, D.C., and returned in 2018 to give the commencement speech. Everything that you fought for was not for yourself. It was for those that come after. While his influence extended far beyond Hollywood, it resonated particularly with black actors. Bozeman spoke about the inequality in the industry. We all know what it's like to be told that there is not a place for you to be featured. I, I have so much admiration and respect for him. And Garfield Wilson and is a BC-based actor who said he was struck by Bozeman's integrity both on screen and off. In a time that is uh, wrought with uh, racial unrest, you want to hold on to your heroes. You know, they offer a direction, a different path, a different, a different narrative. And uh, to lose someone like that is just so, so devastating. Bozeman, who was 43, died of colon cancer.
He was first diagnosed in 2016. That's right, it's still Jackie Robinson Day. This post from April showed his dramatic weight loss, but he battled his illness in private while persevering in public, making movies in between surgeries and chemotherapy, even visiting children who had cancer in the hospital while going through treatments himself. Acts which speak volumes about a man many are remembering as a superhero. Don't freeze. I never freeze. And a powerful voice silenced too soon. Briar Stewart, CBC News, Vancouver. Postman's death at 43 has a lot of people wondering about the risk of colorectal cancers at that age. And it turns out studies in the United States and Canada have shown an increasing number of patients under 50. Dr. Shadi Ashamala is a surgical oncologist who specializes in colorectal cancers with Sunnybrook Hospital in Toronto. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. I guess, you know, one of the important points to make here is that people with family history need to be extra vigilant. Absolutely. It's very, very important for everyone to know their family history of colorectal cancer for a couple of reasons. But firstly, it, it really dictates when that screening should start. We know that anyone with a family history of colorectal cancer should start 10 years before their family member was diagnosed. And also because the risk of colorectal cancer is double if you have a first degree relative who was diagnosed with this disease. So it is very, very important to know one's family history. But of course, there are lots of people without family history who end up getting these cancers and people under the age of 50. So as embarrassing or unpleasant as it may sound, let, let's talk about what they should be watching for. So it, I, that's exactly it, Ian, is that it's embarrassing and unpleasant to talk about, but it saves lives. And it's as simple as standing up, turning around and looking at one stool, because if there's blood or if those stools are unexplained, thinned, um, or there's a, a long-term diarrhea or constipation or anything that's really a, a significant change from the past that needs to be brought to medical attention and investigated. And people don't like to talk about it, but like I said, that saves lives.